Sports Director George Vogel has more on the man who tossed the only perfect game in franchise history, George, but he was known for a lot more, too. Yeah, he was a beloved member of the Reds and after the Reds and has been in the community doing anything and everything people would ask him. He would go anywhere and help out. Many former Reds players have taken the social media to express their sadness to the loss of Tom Browning. The Reds issued a statement saying, Tom created so many memories and magical moments for us all. And one of those moments Tom provided is among the greatest in Reds team history. That it is swung out and missed. And Tom Browning has pitched a perfect game. That moment defined Tom Browning's career forever. So much so, his name became Mr. Perfect. But there was a lot more to Tom Browning's career. Tom was just synonymous with the Cincinnati Reds, right? He was a, he was a guy that if you thought about the Cincinnati Reds in the last 20 years, it's, it's one of the guys you think about. His friendly personality made him a fan favorite. And his antics, like joining the fans across the street from Wrigley Field during a game, made him just like us. He was just, you know, happy-go-lucky and a guy who was really loved by all of his teammates and by, and by people that were around him. You know, he always kind of kept that kid-like um, energy about him. You know, anybody who was ever in a locker room with Tom Browning would definitely take him on their team any day of the week. His 11 years with the Reds included the 1990 World Series championship. It was during game two of that series that Tom's wife delivered their first child, and everyone in the Cincinnati area welcomed the newest Reds fan to the family. After his career, Tom stayed involved with the Reds on and off the field. He was the Grand Marshal of the Finley Market Parade in 2003. He's also a guy who's just always local, in town, always at charity events, always speaking at engagements, always, you know, showing his face at the party. It's a huge loss for the, for the Reds family, for sure. No doubt, just last night, Tom appeared at an event in Northern Kentucky. He was in the Summit Hills Country Club. It was bingo night there, and here he is with Jim and Martha Suholes on bingo night at the country club and not only did he call the bingo games he told a bunch of stories signed autographs i'm told after the event he sat around with the patrons and, and martha and jim who their first date was at crosley field and